What's up guys, Austin Brady here. And in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Snap Wallet from Osnap. This was a highly anticipated Kickstarter project with almost $400,000 in backing. We'll be going over the design, materials, mods, and pricing. And at the end, I'll be sharing some of the fatal flaws that almost made me regret purchasing. So the Snap Wallet has a metal design. As you can see here, there's actually quite a few metals that go into the making of it. It's ultra thin. If you get different modules, it'll be a little bit thicker. The max weight could be 155 grams, but obviously if you have less mods, it's gonna be a little bit lighter. So it's customizable. So there's magnets that attach all the pieces, and then there's alignment cutouts right here, and then right here. And so as you snap them together, not only do the magnets attach it, but it's not gonna move around as easily. It's also RFID blocking, so your cards will be safe in your wallet. These are designed in the USA, but they're made in China. Originally, we're called the MagSnap wallet, but they're not MagSafe compatible, which is a little confusing. So don't expect to buy the wallet and then just snap it onto your phone. Okay, so the main material used is gonna be aluminum. So that's gonna be for your cover plate, for your band mod, your card mod, your tool mod, your ID mod. You have the option of switching the card mod and the cover plate out for something a little more premium like copper, carbon fiber, or titanium. So that's gonna cost a little bit more, but it might give you a little bit more customization depending on what your style is. And then stainless steel is what you're gonna find on your tool mod. So there's a little knife and a bottle opener. So that's gonna be what the material is made of for that, which makes sense because it needs to be strong and durable. And then obviously, like we talked about before, you're going to find magnets throughout the whole construction, specifically in the car, tool, and ID mod. That's to help everything snap together and be secure. It's super nice on the band mod. I thought this was a nylon material in the photos, but it's actually a stretchy rubber, which is nice for carrying cash, an additional card, or the tracker. And on the inside of the cover plate, you're going to see there's rubber as well. So this is a nice soft type of rubber texture, which is gonna make sure that it doesn't scratch anything else. And then on the very inside of the mod, you're gonna have these small little rubber cutouts, if you can see right here. And that's gonna help things from rubbing and scratching as well. And then the only plastic that I've seen is just on the lever right here, which pushes your cards out as well as if you get the tracker so you can find your wallet anywhere, that's gonna be plastic as well. But for the most part, everything's a strong metallic material or rubber, which gives it a very polished and premium feel throughout the whole wallet. Okay, so modules. This is the Snap Wallet Card Module. Holds three to five cards. It's 5.5 millimeters thick, which is really thin. Two cover plates and you'd be good unless you wanted to add some other additional features on there. And this is made of black aluminum. Then you have the cover plate. So this is 1.1 millimeters, ultra thin. You can get this in aluminum. They also have the other type of premium materials like we said before. Rubber on the back and this can sandwich your card module on top and bottom or you can just get one to finish off one side and then a Band module on the other. And then we have the band mod. So there's rubber on the back, on the front. This is gonna hold cash, an additional card, or your Chiplo tracker. This is made of aluminum, but these can also come in the other premium materials. And then it's 1.6 millimeters thick. And then this is your tool mod. This is 3.8 millimeters thick. You're gonna have aluminum for the casing and then stainless steel for your knife and your bottle opener. So really great option if you carry a knife frequently and you just wanna make sure it's just together and all in one with your wallet, or you can ditch this for a little bit lighter weight and thinner wall option too. And then you have your ID mod, obviously for displaying IDs, that's not something I use very often, so I didn't purchase that module. That's 2.5 millimeters thick, and that's a great option if you need that feature. And then this is your Chipola card spot. So this is kind of like an AirTag, except for it's thinner. It's 2.4 millimeters. This is super nice for slipping in the band module. If you lose your wallet a lot, or you wanna make sure that you have a way to track it if you do lose it, this works great with Find My. I've personally enjoyed that because sometimes I've accidentally left my wallet or don't know where it is, but it is gonna add thickness, so it's kind of a trade-off, so you decide what's best for you. Now with the kits, there's the utility kit and then the essentials kit. The utility kit comes with pretty much everything. So cover plate, tool mod, card mod, and band mod. They don't include the ID mod, it sounds like most people are not purchasing that one. And then I added the tracker on top of this. So without the tracker, this would be 12 millimeters. If you get the essentials kit, that's gonna come with just the card mod, the band mod, and a cover plate. So that gives you five cards on the inside with an additional card or cash on the outside. And that's gonna be 8.2 millimeters, so even thinner. If you want the ultimate minimalist wallet though, get the card mod and two cover plates. 
So 5.5 millimeters plus to 1.1 millimeters. So you're gonna come out super thin, really lightweight, and it's gonna look awesome. So moving into pricing, these can add up really quickly. So I'll kind of run you through the different options. So the card mod is gonna be 59 bucks. The cover plate's 29 bucks. The band mod is 29. The tool mod is 59. The ID mod is 35. The tracker, the chip low card spot is 35. If you wanna just get one of the kits, the essentials kit's 100 bucks. The utility kit is 155. And the option that I chose was the utility kit plus the chip low card, which ended up being 190 plus tax was basically just over 200 bucks. Okay, so is this actually worth 100, 200 bucks? Yes and no, and I'll explain why. So there's three categories that I consider when purchasing a wallet. One is how minimalist is it? How small is it? Second would be aesthetics. Do I actually like the look? Do I wanna carry this around and feel confident when I pull my wallet out? And third would be, is it actually useful? Is there utility to this? So the pros is it's customizable. So if you want ultra minimalist, you can get just the basic options with the card module and the two cover plates and it's really thin, carries your cards, that's all you need. It's also nice for utility because if you want a little bit extra carry space, you wanna be able to track it, or you want that tool module so you can carry a knife in your wallet rather than in your pocket, I think it's really useful as well, but it is gonna increase the cost. And as for aesthetics, I think it's gorgeous. Without the cart, without the tracker, which I don't think looks very good, I think just this alone looks incredible. You can choose premium materials or not premium materials, and either way, Way, it looks amazing. Okay, so here's my two fatal flaws. This is thicker and heavier than I expected it to be. So I was trying to replace another wallet, my Grip6, and while it is smaller footprint wise, it's heavier and thicker than my old wallet is. So I wasn't anticipating that and that's disappointing. The second thing is I love my tracker, but when I'm trying to get my cards out and doing it one-handed, it slips because obviously this is not as secure as it could be, it's just on the band, which is fine. I'm not someone who carries cash or a card on the outside, so this would be the only thing I have. So if I get rid of my tracker, great. Now I have perfect grip and I can do, I can pull my cards out one-handed, which isn't a huge issue, but I was just hoping for a little bit more one-handedness like I can with my Grip6, right? But then I also want the tracker feature too because I've lost my wallet before and that sucks and I think it's great to have a tracker so you know where your wallet is at all times. Times. This may be the thinnest option I could get with all this utility. It's just unfortunate that if I want to have something thinner, maybe that looks a little bit better without that tracker, I'd have to sacrifice some of that. Maybe that's just a personal thing for me and that wouldn't be an issue for you, but just keep that in mind that this may be a little bit thicker and heavier if you're someone who owns a minimalist wall already, or if you don't care about the tool mod or about the tracker or the band mod, then you can have an even thinner and lighter wallet than you currently have, and that's going to be cheaper because you don't have to pay for the additional mods. So those are my issues that I ran into, but overall it's still relatively thin, way more durable than a basic leather wallet or maybe a fabric wallet like thread wallets. It looks better than a Ridge wallet, Groove Life, or a Grip6, and you can customize it exactly what your needs are. But either way, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the Snap wallet. What type of mods would you add to yours? I've linked it below the like button if you're interested in purchasing. And as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. So if you're a minimalist, just get the card. Mm, why did the train have to drive by right now?